Hi, my name is Chris. I'm 12 years old and I'm standing for the position of Kirkley's Youth Councillor for Skelmanthorpe. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm 22 years old. I'm a teacher living in Bulgaria and an educational activist. Over four years with the Youth Council, I served two terms in office, including one as a co-chair and one as a member of the UK Youth Parliament. Walking through the doors of a council chamber as a teenager and speaking out on local and national government policy forces you out of your comfort zone. I was called upon to represent young people on a local, regional and national level. I was delivering workshops, meeting politicians and attending conferences in London and Belfast amongst other places. It was only through our collective, tireless energies that we were able to achieve so much, both youth councillors and through the support of our incredible youth workers. There was a genuine bond which united us, and a friendship which transcended all others. One of my biggest achievements was speaking out at an event with over 300 delegates. This was only possible by the support of my youth workers and my friends who told me that they believed in me and for a teenage version of myself that was always unconfident, this was a huge personal step. Life in Kirklees has changed a lot for young people over the last 10 years and I can see more drastic changes on the horizon over the coming years. Young people are going to be forced to integrate on an international scale to resolve the most pressing global problems and we shouldn't make any mistake about it, this is only going to be possible by empowering the leaders of tomorrow now. That has to start at a grassroots level. We have to ensure adequate funding for youth democracy bodies, which help to empower young people to have confidence, to develop networking skills, and to speak out about the changes in the world that they want to see. I know that it worked for me, and after all the support I received growing up, I feel that it's only right that I carry on that work, and I call for the empowerment of young people across the world, and fight for the right for their voices to be heard.